welcome back to the House of Floss and Fluff. My name is Carrie. Thank you guys for joining me for my seventh Floss Tube video. Today is Tuesday, October 17th. It has been about a week since I recorded my last video and uploaded it. It has been, oh, it's been a long week. I'm not going to lie. It's been kind of a stressful week. It doesn't seem to be ending anytime soon. But the good part is I've gotten lots of stitchy stuff. To done and I've gotten to dye fabrics and floss and that always makes me happy. So I've got lots to share with you guys so we're just we're gonna dive in because there's a lot. I'm once again on the floor of my craft room with stuff spread out everywhere. So okay um, I do have one FFO to show you guys. I didn't get anything else finished this week but I'm really proud of the um, FFO that I have. Uh, otherwise I have some new starts and of course some progress on whips and then I received a fantastic um, birthday present uh, which was a total surprise so I'm going to show you guys that. It was a wonderful, wonderful gift. And then um, I did have a couple small purchases but nothing, nothing too huge. So a few goodies to show you guys. Okay? So like I said, spread out everywhere so let's just dive right in. My FFO. I got Miss Grimmild by the Primitive Hair completely finished. I'm really, really proud of it. So if you watched my last video, I finished the stitching in my last video, but I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to FFO her. Um, so I kind of ended up doing a little bit of a plan that I had in my head, but I made a few changes. So I'm just going to show you guys and then I'll talk about it. So there it is. There she is. So I finished her as a bell pull, or at least my version of a bell pull, I guess. And I used um, two different branches or twigs or whatever you want to call them um, that I found at the park, which is crazy because I have branches and twigs everywhere in my backyard, but yet I still picked them up in the park. But I liked them because they were thicker and they kind of reminded me of driftwood. I don't know why. And then, thanks to McKenna at Every Stitch Counts huh, and her encouragement to light your cross stitch on fire, I did. I burned the edges of Miss Grimmilt. I had not planned on doing that, but I was staring at the piece and I was trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to finish her and I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to light her on fire and see what happens. And I love it. Absolutely love it. And then I just attached it with like a kind of a back stitch. Basically I just did one stitch and then I skipped, did another stitch, skipped, you get the point, to attach it. And then I'll show you the back. The back isn't super impressive. I just put a piece of felt basically over the stitching. So other than that, it's, yeah, the front is so much prettier, <laughs> but I love it. So now I have her hanging um, next to the uh, witch with the frog hat in her stick frame. And then I also have, and then next to them are the uh, two foxes in their, sticks fr in their stick frame. So. I think I may have discovered my new style in our house and that's going to be rustic with a touch of nature. I think I'm going to frame a lot of stuff using twigs and branches and things that I find around the park and around my house. So I love it. Love it. So thank you. Huge shout out and thank you to McKenna from Every Stitch Counts. Oh my god. I love this technique now. I. I don't know, my husband may have to hide the lighter, I may start setting things on fire just to see how cool I can make them look. Okay, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just happy that I was able to do that and I didn't set myself on fire. All ten fingers and all ten toes, I swear, they're all there. And I didn't set the actual house on fire, so I, it's a good day, it's a good day. Alright, so that was my FFO, like I said, I didn't get any other pieces finished. But, you know, hey, new starts. I did have three new starts this week. It's because I didn't start anything. I only started one thing last week, so of course, new starts. 
And this was a new purchase. I went on to the Creative Poppy website. If you're unfamiliar with that website, I believe it is out of the UK or France. I'm not sure, but basically they have PDF patterns um, from multiple different designers, but my absolute favorite designer, Barbara Ann Designs. And so this was one that I bought. It's called Witch House. Absolutely love it. Love the fact that it's on purple fabric. I had dyed purple fabric back in February, and I've been looking for things to stitch on that purple fabric. So here's my start. I've actually got the whole house done. The whole house is outlined. Now I just have to do each room. But isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. I love it. I absolutely love it. And did you notice anything else? Yep. Start it up here instead of in the middle like I normally do. Okay, little funny story on that. The reason why is because when I ordered the pattern, um, there was a little bit of I had a little trouble downloading it. For some reason, the link wouldn't come up. So I sent a message to customer service. They did send me a message back right away. Well, not right away, but within, you know, the time difference and everything. It was within, you know, 24 hours with the correct link. I was able to download the pattern, but I couldn't print it. So I had to send another message to um, customer service. But I didn't want to wait. So I just took a picture of the pattern with my camera or with my phone so that I could at least start it. Well, I couldn't figure out where the middle was on my phone, so I just started it in the upper corner here. I love it. And then this way, when I do cut it down to, to um, finish it, I'll have lots of extra fabric to do another ornament or whatever. And I think I'm going to finish this into a cube when it's all done. I have a pretty good idea of how I'm going to finish it. But I love it. I love it. So, me and witches, you know, what's not to love? What's not to love? Okay. Next start, if you guys watched my video, my last video, you probably will have guessed that I would have started this. I got this as a birthday gift. This is Cackle by Raise the Roof Designs. Of course, I had to start it. Of course, before I could start it, I had to dye fabric, which I did. I had bought some 28-count um, Monaco Even Weave from Michael's last week, and so I dyed up a whole bunch of that. So now first look at that color. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the color. So here's my start. Oh, sorry. I'll turn Kitty the right way. Oops. And Kitty is taking over stitches. There we go. So there's my start on Cackle. Not huge. I was really busy on the, the couple days that I decided to start this one. And I'm not, stitching with even weave is something new, still kind of new to me. I've only done it a couple other times. So I'm trying, I still have to count a little bit more, but I'm becoming more confident doing it. I actually really, I really am liking this one. I love how it looks. I love dyeing the even weave. Love it. It dyes up really, really nice. So. That is my start on Cackle. It's a lot of fun to work on, especially since I really wanted that design so bad. It's a lot of fun to work on. Okay, then my last, sorry, I've got stuff everywhere. My last new start was, I actually started this on Sunday. It was for Santa Sundays, and I don't have an overall picture for you guys, I'm sorry. I forgot to print it out. But it is by um, Teresa Kogut on Etsy and it is a Santa and this is another piece of fabric that I dyed. This one actually dyed up a little bit darker than I had intended but it'll work for this. Okay so this is actually going to be Santa and a reindeer. So this is the border and then this is the start of Santa. Okay so I'll try and remember to print out a picture for you guys for my next video. And I am using a couple different hand dyed flosses that I did, if I can find them in here. There's one, and there's the other. And they're just two different shades of red that I had done. One's a little bit lighter, 
One's a little bit darker. So I'm using two different shades of red. So I'm using a different shade. Um, in the pattern, the border and Santa are the same red, but I'm doing them uh, in two different shades. So, And Santa is a little bit uh, lighter, I think, but I think he's going to turn out really cute. But I have to be honest, the entire time I was stitching this, I was like, oh, I want to be stitching my Halloween stuff. I don't know, I'm having a really hard time getting into Christmas type stuff this year. I don't know, I think I'm going to need to pull out some of my snowman patterns because I collect snowman. So maybe that'll get me into the Christmassy spirit. I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of to try. Anyway, on to whips. So the first whip I pulled out oops, was Pumpkins in Love by the Primitive Hair. Okay. And I almost finished, almost finished the male pumpkin. Almost done. I really love this one. This one is a really relaxing one to stitch because this is 18 count Ada that I hand dyed and I'm only using one strand of thread. So no railroading or anything like that. So it's really relaxing. But I don't think I'm going to, I really hope to have this one done by Halloween. I don't think that's going to happen. But you never know. Okay. Next one I pulled out is uh, Mini Mint Might. Wow. It's a lot of M's. Mini Midnight Manor by Waxy Moon Designs on Etsy. I don't have the overall picture, but I did show you guys this one in my last video. And so here's where I am now. In my last video, I just had basically this little part done here. So I added in all of this, and I added in this little part here, and of course the little guy peering out at you. So there we go. You can see... And then this, I am stitching this on 14 count Ada that I hand dyed. And the floss it, are three different skeins of floss that I also hand dyed in shades of black, gray, purple, and navy blue. So, I like how this one's coming out. I wasn't sure if this fabric was going to work for this project, but the more I work on it, the more I'm really glad that I went ahead and picked this fabric. I really like it. Okay, then I pulled out Autumn by the Queen Bee Handmade. Sorry if I keep looking down. Like I said, I'm on the floor and trying to read my notes and everything. Not a lot of progress on this one. I finished the pumpkin. That's all I got done. But I actually ended up really loving the variegation in the pumpkin. If you watched my last video, I wasn't quite sure because it was stitching up kind of light on this side. But as I continued on, it got, you know, the floss got darker in different spots. I love it. I love it. So I'm really, really happy with how it's turning out. And I did, I did dye a couple of flosses specifically for this piece. I dyed another orange. Um, so there's the other orange that I dyed. I don't know if I'm going to use it now because I actually really like it. But I might, um, there's a little pumpkin on the vine here. I might put this one in for the little pumpkin. And then there is a border that goes around the whole thing. I haven't decided if I'm going to stitch the border or not. But if I do, I may do that in maybe in the shade or something. I don't know. I don't know. And then the house was just supposed to be done in a crew. And I thought maybe I would do it in this floss, which is a tan and a gray. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. I may just go ahead and do it in Acru, but I thought maybe I'd make it look a little bit fancier. I don't know. We'll see. Again, I get all these great ideas in my head, and then I go ahead and try and do them. And sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. We'll see. And then last piece I worked on, I... Oops. Sorry, and it's way over here. Hold on. Okay. Worked on this one last night. Pulled this one out. And it is the Haunting Household from the 2017 Halloween issue of Just Cross Stitch Magazine. 
And I just have to take a second and say I'm really, really disappointed in my local Walmart and my bookstore. They did not have the new copy of the new Just Cross Stitch magazine that came out. Yeah, really disappointed. So I'm probably going to be getting it. I think I'm just going to bite the bullet and get a subscription. I'm tired of hunting it down and trying to find it. So anyway, rant over. I'm done. Here is my progress. Um, when you guys... Oh, hold on. I'll move that. When you last saw it, I had this... Um, her and monsters and the bat. So I added the E and the he, which will eventually say um, here, and then the N and the E. And let's see. This one up here is color and cotton floss. This one is gentle arts. This one is color and cotton. And this one is mine that I dyed. It was not what I originally had planned. Um, I had originally planned a color and cotton to go there. And I love this color. I do. It's called um, Earth Day. And it's really, really pretty. But it just, um, I don't know if it's the light in my stitchy spot, but it looked a little more green. And I had some other ideas of what I wanted to use this for. So I pulled out one that I dyed a couple weeks ago. And I just I just liked it, thought it would work. And I'm really happy with what, how it's coming out. It looks really good with this purple. So... Fun, fun. Lots of fun. Love having lots of different flosses around the house. Lots of options. That's always good. So, that was my stitching. That was a lot, I think. I don't know. Seems like a lot. I think it was a lot. Okay. Told you guys I got sprinkled with Stitchy Birthday Kindness. Candy from Candy Stitches is amazing. Amazing. So, she sent me a birthday gift from 123stitch. I'll show you. Hold on. Did not open it. Well, I opened it, but I didn't take it out of the plastic yet because I didn't want to lose any of it. Look at this. She sent me stretcher bars oh. and the little tacks to go with so I can attach my stitching. How awesome is that? I'm so... Oh. Thank you. I, I don't even know what else to say, but thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I, I had sent her a message when I received them, and I told her I was having, like, the crappiest day ever. And I went down to drop off a package, and the mailman's like, oh, we've got a package for you. I'm like, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And sure enough, it was this. And it made my day. It made my day. So, thank you. I, I so, I just appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't wait to use them. Cannot wait to use them. So, other than that, I bought, I did buy a new pattern. Well, I bought a couple of new patterns. This is from um, By the Bay Needle, Needle Art. She has an Etsy shop. I didn't know she had an Etsy shop. I do now. I got this one. This is Halloween Cove. And it's a real picture, so lots of glare. Isn't that adorable? It's a really big pattern, so I'm not going to start this one this year. I'll probably wait till next year. Because, like, I don't have enough Halloween patterns right now to stitch. I can always have more. Love this one. And now that I have found her shop, I found more patterns that I want. Because, you know, because, because I can. Seriously, I need to curb myself with patterns. I'm buying way too many. I'm, I'm try I tell myself every week, no more patterns. <laughs> right. Anyway. I'm also doing, um, in my last video, I mentioned that I want to do a patriotic corner in my living room. So I bought a new patriotic pattern. This is um, Uncle Sam from Primitive Stitchin' on Etsy. Isn't that cute? Love it. Love it. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I might make it into a pillow. I might make it into a wall hanging. I don't know. We'll see. And then today, <laughs> today... When we were grocery shopping, we went to our local grocery store, and I had absolutely no idea that they had writ dyes, but oh my gosh, they did. On sale. Look at this. Yay. More dye. And these are all dyes that, um, except for the tan, these are all dyes that my Walmart does not carry, that I haven't been able to find anywhere. And so I am, like, super pumped. And they have more. They have liquid dyes, too, that my Walmart doesn't carry. But those weren't on sale, so I just went ahead and got the ones that were on sale this week. I'll go back next week probably and get a couple of the non-sale ones. We'll see. So, of course, there's going to be more fabric and more floss dyeing. 
for next week. I'm sure. I'm sure. Other than that, on to dyed fabrics. Yay. My favorite part. I love dyed fabrics. Okay. So I dyed, like I said, I dyed up all that even weave that I had. I had three things of, three rolls of the Charles Craft 28 count Monaco that you get at Michael's. And then I had two packages of the MCG Textiles 28 count even weave. One of those packages I had opened and used a little bit from, but I still had quite a bit left. So this was just a little scrap that I had, but I am obsessed with this color. I don't know. It's just so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I, you know I love blue. But I just... I love this. So I don't know what I'm going to put on here yet. Probably an ornament or something, but love it. And this is this is another piece of the uh, MCG textiles. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Love the modeling. I don't know if... I don't know if the colors. There we go. There we go. That's pretty true to life right there. So yeah, I love that. And this was all, these two, or the MCG were just white to begin with. So, okay. And this is the last piece of the MCG that I did. This is a big piece. But now, isn't that pretty? Candy, I'm peeking at you. If you watch Candy's um, Die With Me video, you gotta go watch that one and get the joke. But I'm peeking at you. Okay. So, <laughs> love this one too. This is the emerald. I really, I really like the emerald. Isn't that pretty? So, I have no idea what I'm going to use these for yet. I will figure it out though. And then this was the last piece of the Charles Craft um, Monaco that I did. And it's just the brown. Lots of modeling in this one. This one is a little bit lighter than the other brown. And like I said, lots and lots of modeling in this one. And the funny thing is, is I had dyed this with a purpose. There was a project that I was dyeing this for. Do you think I can remember what that project is? Nope. I have no idea. I've been racking my brain trying to figure out what did I dye this fabric for. I don't know. I still can't figure it out. It'll come to me. Maybe. Maybe. Then a couple, I'll just show you a couple of the floss, more flosses that I dyed. So I dyed a couple of greens for maybe some Christmassy type things coming up. I like them. They're a little bit lighter than what I had thought, but I like them. They're cute. They're pretty. So I'll use them for something. And then this was another orange. This is a little darker, grungier orange that I had dyed. Again, I think I dyed this to go with this fabric for a project. I don't know. It's still not coming to me. I don't know. Then I went ahead and I decided on Friday I was going to break out my coffee and my tea and I was going to do some coffee and tea dyeing. And I followed Vana, the Twisted, Stitch Twisted Stitchers, based and bake tutorial. I believe it's on her blog. I don't know if it's on her YouTube channel, but it is, or her floss tube channel, but it is on her blog. And so this is just some 18 count that I did. But I love, love the modeling. Isn't that cool? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I did some 18 count. I did some 14 count. They're all just so cool. They all have a little different, you know, different effect. There we go. Oh yeah, I'm peeking at everybody again. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Like I said, it's been a long week with lack of sleep. I think I'm getting a little goofy. Some more 14 count. And then this is um, 28 count Lugana that I got from 123 Stitch. This was antique white. And so I went ahead and tea dyed that. I do like it. This one dang it, did not get quite as modeled, but... I like it. I think, you know, I'll use it for something. I have some ideas. I always have ideas. And then just some more. 14 count. Or this is 18, I'm sorry. 18 count and another piece of 14 count. I like this one. This one's really kind of cool. So yeah. I actually started out dyeing fabric by doing the tea, 
tea and coffee dyeing because I thought it wouldn't make as big of a mess as the permanent dyes. And it doesn't, and it does. I don't know. <laughs> it makes a mess, but it's a lot easier to clean up. But that's okay. But it does take a lot longer. That I have noticed. What took me... Okay, these fabrics, the ones that I dyed with the RIT dyes, took me... Oh, this took me about an hour, I think. Coffee dyes took me... I started at 8 o'clock in the morning, and I finished at 2.30 in the afternoon. Yeah, start to finish. This one takes a long time. I will say that. At least for me it does. I don't know. Maybe everybody else is able to do it quicker. I am not. Took a while. Okay. Well, that's about it. But I do have something I wanted to share. I came up with this crazy idea. I don't know why. But I decided this weekend, Saturday, October 21st, and Sunday, October 22nd, I am going to try and do a stitching marathon. Which means what? Which means I'm going to try and stitch as much as I can on those days. I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to work an hour on each piece. So I'm going to set a timer and I'm going to work on it for exactly an hour um, and I'm going to pause, you know, if I need to do something else like, you know, take the dog outside or talk to my husband on the phone or if the kid needs something. Um, but I want to do it at least an hour on each piece. And I'm going to just see how many pieces I can stitch on and how much I can get done in those two days. I'm hoping. We'll see. Right now it's shaping up that my work week shouldn't be too busy on those two days because I, I work pretty much seven days a week, you know, depending on how much I have to do. So I'm kind of trying to get everything together that I should have a lot of free time those two days. At least I'm hoping. I'm hoping. So I'm going to do a hashtag, hashtag Stitchy, S-T-I-T-C-H-Y, marathon. Okay, on Instagram. So if you want to follow me on there, you can. If you want to join in, join in. Even if it's just for one day or even if it's for, you know, an afternoon. Whatever you want to do. Like I said, I'm going to work an hour on each piece. And then I'm going to put it away and pull out something new. That's the plan. And you can work on whips, new starts, whatever you want to do. Okay? So that is about it from here. I hope everyone is having... A fantabulous week and that you guys are getting tons of stitching time and yeah I just want to say a huge huge thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel I'm up over 300 subscribers which I'm amazed as you can tell today not a good hair day not like my last video sorry it just wasn't gonna happen it started out good but it just fell flat anyway again back to my thank you to everyone that has subscribed to me everyone that has commented you guys have no idea how excited I get when I see comments I love it love it love it love it I read them all I do try to comment back but sometimes my brain fogs and I can't remember <laughs> if I've commented back or not so I apologize but I do heart everything I do like things and I do read them I promise and I am so grateful and thank you to everyone that likes my videos. I just appreciate it beyond belief. So thank you guys so much. I'm having so much fun doing these videos and being a part of this amazing community. And I am catching up on my floss too. I had some internet issues. We're slowly getting them fixed, so I've been able to start catching up on my floss too. Okay? So I'm, I'm there, I swear. I'm watching. I'm trying. Trying really hard. Okay? So again... Hope you guys have a fantastic week, lots and lots of stitching, and I will see you all again in 7 to 10 days. Alright everybody, bye, thanks for watching.